long ago in a, on a planet far, far away, there was a genie. And he was master of a wide swath of desert. It wasn't exactly populated, it wasn't exactly habitable, but by gum, it was his. <laughs> and he was proud of his desert. And if interlopers came of any sort of power, like men, for example, he would just bat them away with fiery breath and throw sand in their faces and even kick it in their faces because they were weak, puny men. And then, suddenly there was a summoning. A dark summoning. A dark summoning from far, far away, far to the north, in mountainous lands, in the very center of the great land mass on which his own plot of land dwelt. Yes, those central mountains, dark and strong in the great volcano of Mordor. Yes, because the evil Sauron <laughs> was summoning all evil power to him. He had to face this army of men and elves, and he had foreseen some difficulty. Something about a guy with a half a blade cutting off his finger or something. He <laughs> wasn't quite sure why it was so bad at the time, but by gum, he wasn't going to let this happen. They weren't going to get anywhere close to him. He would summon all evil to him. But Jafar would have none of it. Oh, God. <laughs> I serve no one! And he knew that his fellow Jean all were of the same mind. Fierce and independent they are. And so he went and found all the fierce, independent genie that he could. And they, in their demonic power, thwarted this evil that came at them. And when his power, which was nearly boundless at this moment, was thwarted, Sauron gathered up on his dark beast. Yes, the dark winged creature, the great dark goose of the dark lord, the black beast of Mordor, winged death. And he went, he went forth on his Machine of death, the winged black goose, searching for what had thwarted his power. <laughs> Seeing the great wingspan of the goose, Jafar had no choice but to summon his own weapon. Yes, indeed, the great white goose of the south. <laughs> and it answered his summons, praise the Lord, brought to him on the wind by the genie who had allied with him to thwart Sauron and his dark purpose. And he, astride the great white goose of the south, did battle in the air with the foul Sauron. <laughs> and Sauron decided, well, if they've got a goose like mine, this isn't going to work out. And he went home, defeated in his attempt to summon great dark power. And yes, that's what the problem was. He was trying to summon great evil and the weapons for both of them were gooses. <laughs>